And they're taking on Washington. And this is really going to be a, a big game in, in the sense that it's a double revenge for Oregon <laughs> yeah. after what happened last year. Matter of fact, Washington's beaten Oregon. The last three, uh, all as dogs, I believe, including two as double-digit dogs. And that one of them was the championship game last year that, uh, unfortunately, Oregon fans remember. So uh, even though they're undefeated, Washington, lucky enough, I guess, in their respect, that they got their bowl uh, clinching situation out of the way. They don't have to beat Oregon to be bowl eligible. Uh, that would have been a tough task. Uh, but is, is that what you're kind of feeling, that even though, look, this is just any opponent, uh, and, yeah, the record may say so, but – uh, this this is this is a big game for the team after what happened last year. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, there's always been the sense that kind of Oregon State was kind of your in-state rival. That obviously you wanted to beat them every time you played them. But other than that, you didn't mind. You know, Oregon, I think most Oregon fans didn't mind if if Oregon State had some success. It's it's the real venomous type <laughs> of rivalry that that Oregon feels for Washington, um, and, and uh, particularly so after the results the last couple of years. So uh, yeah, it. Obviously, Washington's always going to be able to say that it was the team in a game with the stakes that, that the matchups last year had came out on top. And this year's not going to have that for both teams. You know, there's yeah. really only one team that's really playing for the highest of stakes. Um, so it's a different flavor to it. But uh, I don't think that will uh, mute the celebration at all for Oregon fans if the Ducks are able to find a way to, to come out on top. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Dan Lanning um, – you know, that's kind of been his Achilles heel. So, uh, it's, a diff again, a different kind of matchup. I mean, Kalen DeBoer's not there anymore. Michael Penix is not there anymore. Roma Dunze is not anymore, there anymore. Um, and those guys were really, you know, kind of the main reason that Washington was able to come out on top of those matchups. So, uh, that's a different kind of flavor to this matchup, too. But still, yeah, I don't think, uh, you know, I think based on the results of the last couple of years, this team's going to have Oregon's full attention regardless of all that. Uh, and again, if the Ducks are able to come out with a win, it's not going to take away from the celebration at all. Yeah, they were, uh, matter of fact, Washington just one in seven. I know this isn't uh, anything other than a uh, handicapping uh, note, but they're one in seven against the spread following uh, rest, a bye. Uh, and, uh, you know, sometimes that could be looked at, uh, especially if they're the same coaching staff, which Washington does not. Uh, but uh, I know Lanning hasn't been there very long, but have you noticed anything at all with, with, the, with the team following a, an off week on just how they play generally? No, I mean, you know, Oregon had its first bye week before the start of conference play. And, I, th you know, was there were some questions about this team going into that point yeah. of the season based on the first couple of weeks that I think were, were answered pretty resoundingly, um, you know, coming off that bye in late September and into early October. And obviously the Ohio State game, you know, was the loudest statement to that uh, effect. But, uh, yeah, no, this is actually the third straight opponent Oregon's going to face coming off a bye week. Interesting. Uh, the, the good news is the Ducks themselves have a bye week before this one as Finally, well. Finally, yeah. Again, when we talk about kind of reasons the last couple weeks didn't look necessarily like Oregon might have wanted them to, that's another factor too. You know, you're playing all those weeks in a row, and then both Maryland and Wisconsin – we're coming off a bye, whereas Oregon was not. So, um, yeah, just the fact that the Ducks are able to kind of sit back, take a deep breath right now, kind of regroup, reassess, reformulate, uh, and get ready for, you know, a huge rivalry game and then the postseason, um, most welcome for sure.